Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we're checking out the Tetra Sub, which is this thing right here, and uh, it looks kind of cool. It looks like a like an old game. I <laughs> I don't know. It, it it seems weird. It seems weird to say that, but it looks like something that should be on the Nintendo. Um, anyway, um, da -da 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 -da. what are we doing today? We're uh, we're gonna take this sub out, and we're gonna go ahead and try and find a megalodon, and we're gonna see what the megalodon does to the sub. Now we've tried it with a smaller submarine and it didn't go too well, but this one's quite big and I would assume that it's a little bit easier to control because it's so big, um, but I don't know, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll sail out towards that thing and um, yeah, we'll, we'll just see what happens. Hey! Okay, so let's go ahead and get inside. There's the little hatch right there. Let's go ahead and jump inside, close the hatch, and sit in the little seat. There we go. We're ready to go. Hatch. Okay, that's what that controls. Throttle lever. Beautiful. We got a key button. Oh, haha, <laughs> yes. All right, we got a throttle. Let's go forwards. That's our speed right there. We got a compass right there as well. Um, we got a battery charge. Okay. We got a depth uh, meter. Can we. How do we know? Set. Minus one. Minus two. Oh, yes! Minus three. Yo! That's insane! That's awesome! I like this. I like this submarine already. Uh, Phil. Uh-huh. I don't really know why we would need to do that. Unless we're going to stop underneath the water. That's why we would use the, the ballast, I suppose. Um, but no, we're good. I don't know what these are. I'm not entirely sure what those are. Um, those are lights. Okay, there's one light. There's two lights. There's three lights. Okay, we got some lights on the outside, we got some lights on the inside, we got whatever that is. Is that, is that our sonar? Is that what that is? That's what this is, look. It's actually showing us the ground in front of us. That is absolutely insane. I like that. And that's our depth right there, and that's what we're at. Oh, that is so cool! That is actually crazy. Okay, right, so uh, we're going 15, I guess that's in knots, I'm not entirely sure. Can we get out of this and walk around? <gasps> no way! We can get a passenger in here and everything. We got some diving equipment on both sides and we can just sit in our little seat. That is so cool. Wait, if I fell back, uh oh. No, I'm good, I'm good. That is actually amazing. I really like this. Awesome. I see the Megalodon. We're gonna, we're gonna ram the Megalodon. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go lower. Let's go to like minus 15 and we'll see if we can even see it. Um, there, there, there's no land in front of us, it's too deep. So we can actually go to minus that was a fish. Okay, we've seen a fish. We can go to minus 70, which is like 70 underneath the water. That is insane. So the big fish, I mean the Megalodon, was right in front of us a second ago. He's behind us. He's right behind us. Hold on, can we see him? I can't stand up. Can we, can we see him? He was right behind us a second ago. That is creepy. <laughs> that is very creepy. All right, let's turn around. See if we can see him when we turn around. Oh, that is weird. That is so weird. Is he above us now? No? Okay, is he below us? He could be below us. He could be... Oh, there he is. There, I see him. I see him. He's on our right somewhere. That was a squid. Okay, right. Let's go back up to the surface. Oh, look at it. Wow. That is awesome. That is so cool. He's behind us. Man, this submarine is is actually really cool. I don't know what you would use it for, though. Like, I, I guess you would use it for... I don't know. I, I don't know. There's, like, a little connection thing that you can do, a little connection mission, uh, where you connect something underneath the water, but I don't think it would do that. We don't really have any arms to be able to connect things, so I'm not entirely sure how that would work. Also, if I turn this off, and then we go like this, if we set it to, like... Does it actually go... Whoa, he hit us! Oh, he hit us. Now we're going under with him. Does it work? We should be at minus 10, but we're at minus 20 right now because we got hit by a... Okay. Uh, not good. Not good at all. Um, uh, empty. I can't empty it. It's not... Em oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Our throttle is... Is not working. Oh, he damaged the whole back end of our boat. Damn it. Why do you have to do that? Why do you have to do that, man? Okay, I'm kind of scared now. I don't know whether we're going to fill up with water. Because that bit right there is damaged. So we might eventually fill up with water. Anyway, we're, we're wanting to get to the surface. I can't tell what depth we're at. We're at 18. We are actually going down. Uh, and we're in the trench. Although, wait, hold on. 
It does seem to be wanting to thrust me, like, forwards a little bit. I don't know whether you guys are hearing this, but let's turn these off so we, we conserve power. That's our power right there. Um, yeah, we're, we're not actually emptying, are we? This is not good. This is, we're, we're just sinking. We are actually just sinking. All right, pony diving equipment, let's get out of here. Uh, hatch, there we go. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. We need to abandon ship. We need to abandon ship. Off we go. Bye-bye. Does the Megalodon attack people? That's another thing. I don't really know. I, I'm not entirely sure. I don't. I have no idea. Um, I don't think it does. Also, my boat is actually moving. Just every so often, it pushes itself forwards. That's weird. Okay, so I resurrected my boat from the bottom of the ocean. Or the submarine from the bottom of the ocean. Okay. What I want to try is I want to get into the sea and I want to go down, okay? I want to see if... I want to see if... Can we close this? Um... I, I want to see what happens. Okay, so we'll turn this on. We'll click set. Is the door closed? It is. And we'll go down. Does it go down by itself? Or do we have to have power? I think we have to have a little bit of power. Pushing us down. Yeah, that's, that's kind of how it works. Okay. So that should take us down to minus 10. Uh, which we, we currently can't do. Let's go up to like... Uh, 6. Let's go up to 6. There we go. Oh, this thing is amazing. I really like it. I really do. It's so stable underneath the water. I just don't know what you would use it for. I'm trying to think of a mission that would actually be, like, it would actually be kind of useful for. I, even the one where the tsunami comes. I don't think it would be that useful for it. But maybe it would. Let's give that a go. Because we have to, we have to save more people. But, if we can somehow fit them all in here, I guess we could fit quite a few people in here. Even though there's only two seats. I'm sure we could just shove some people in. Yeah, let's do the tsunami mission. Let's try it. Oh god! Okay, right, hold on. Right. Oh! <laughs> no! We've already been damaged. That sucks so much. Oh, uh, the Megas just came to eat me again. I forgot about the Meg completely. Uh, it's only 5.7 miles... Oh, 5.1 miles away. So uh, we'll get a new boat and we'll go out and save the dudes. Okay? We're gonna be okay. I can still see the Meg is behind us next to that island. But I don't think he's... I, maybe he's not as fast as us, so we might actually be able to get all the way out there and get all the dudes on board. See, the thing is with this mission is I struggled even with doing it with Spanner. So, because there was two of us there, we were actually grabbing all the dudes, putting them on a plane. Um, but now there's only me, I feel like this is going to be ten times harder. Or at least two times harder, because I need to grab all the dudes, get off the ship, get into a submarine with only a few seats, through a hatch. So, so I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to give it our best shot. So, uh, yeah. Don't see the Megalodon behind us at all. I feel like the Megalodon is is not going to come after us. Uh, so we, we should be okay. Uh, we're only 4.2 kilometers away now, so uh, we'll be there very soon. You know what would be kind of cool in this thing as well is maybe just a little window right there. You know, I know there's like a little light underneath. I'm not... In oh, there's two lights underneath. If there was a little, uh, a little window in the middle... I know we'd have to go through a ballast tank at some point because the ballast tank's presumably underneath us. Um, but we'd be able to see through to the ground floor, or through to the actual seabed, which would be awesome. That would be so cool. Uh, anyway, we're only 3.5 kilometers away, so um, we'll be there very soon. Wait, okay, so I've been driving for quite a while now, and the battery is at 0.49. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to completely do the mission. We are only one kilometer away as well, but I don't think that's going to charge anytime soon so we're gonna have to get there and then we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to get everybody on board the submarine dive down underneath so the tsunami doesn't hit us and then come and rescue everybody with a different vehicle maybe probably yeah that's that's probably the way we're gonna have to do it so we'll get there you know we will we will actually reach our destination it's just we're not gonna be able to get them to hospital or wherever they need to be afterwards um so <laughs> we'll have to see what happens loading vehicles there it is there it is right there Okay, so, um, the, the problem that we've got right now is we're quite far away. And the, the tsunami's probably going to start coming in very, 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 very soon. I don't know how we're going to get everybody off, off that boat and onto this. And inside this. Everybody needs to get inside the submarine. Oh, boys. This, this is going to be difficult. De hello, I've come to save all of you guys. Can you just get on my boat and we'll get out of here, please? Thank you. That's good. All right, we're going to have to park like, right, right next to it. Okay. Okay. Park right next to it. We're going to have to do this relatively quickly. Okay, the tsunami is going to come in in very, very, very soon. Very, 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 very soon. Okay, we parked next to the ladder. So go ahead and open up this door. 
get in the seat, get out the seat, jump outside. Okay, there's the ladder. Go ahead and go on the ladder, open the door. All right, we need to grab everybody. So, uh, first dude to get is the captain, probably. Let's go ahead and grab you. Enter bridge. Okay, that takes a long time to open. My game froze a little bit. That's okay. Go downstairs. We need the engineer, please. The engineer is underneath the deck. All right, go grab the engineer. Is there only two people? Is there actually only two people? Engine room. Grab the engineer. Okay, out. Go, go, go. Come with me. Come, 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 come. Go, 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 go. Up the stairs. There used to be more than two people, I'm sure. Uh, right, okay, open that sesame. That one's not working. Okay, come upstairs. Come, 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 come. We need to go out here. That one's... Okay, weird. All right, get outside. There's the tsunami right there. Did I just drop the dude? I did. Come here. Get in my arms. Let's go. On my boat. Quick. Jump on. Okay. Get inside. Beautiful. Oh, eh, eh. What are you doing to me? Jesus. Okay. Right. They've tipped me over sideways. The captain is still on the boat. The tsunami's right there. Okay. We need to be quick. We need to be very quick. Come here, you. Okay. Jump inside. Close the hatch. Okay. Okay, we, we, a little bit of water got on. A little bit of water. However, we are totally still alive. Ev everybody is... Everybody okay? <laughs> is everybody okay? I'm sure everybody's fine. We made it. We're alive. How far do we have to go? Two miles. Uh, two kilometers. We can make that, I think. We can totally make that. All right, let's go. The, the AI in this game really do mess with your creations, though. Look at it. It's totally tipped us over sideways. How have you even done that, dude? I don't understand. It, just this one dude. Put him in the middle. No! What the heck? We need to put them in seats. Otherwise, they're really stupid. Look. Hold on. That ah, tips us over. That That's just mental. Why is that a thing? That shouldn't be a thing. Not at all. Okay, in fact, actually, for that... I don't even want to rescue you anymore. You're, uh... You're gonna go to the bottom of the ocean. See you later, my dude. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, and I'm getting out of here. Scootly. Bye. Bye-bye. That's probably not very nice of me, because the other the other person was actually doing all right. But, but yeah. They're, they're probably gonna die now, because, uh... There's no air. Wait, hold on. There's another... I missed a dude. <laughs> I missed a guy. He's still alive though. The ship is completely fine. I think if you if you literally just waited, you you brought something over like a submarine, and you waited, you would totally be able to just. Are they dead? Yeah, I think he. I think they're dead. Um, you'd be able to just wait it out and then go in afterwards to grab the dudes and then you'll be fine. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here for now. That submarine is awesome. It doesn't recharge anymore. Maybe it recharged before. I don't know. Um, but I really like it, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to that in the description down below. You guys can go ahead and check it out for yourselves, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.